hi guys welcome back to mind the leaves if this is your first time joining us then welcome we're super excited that you're here today we get to talk all about a super cute little plant this little guy peperomia hope so this is a fairly new plant for me. I've semi-recently picked this up, quite frankly, just because I thought it was adorable. These succulent little leaves that are so round and thick and plump, I just couldn't resist. Look at it, it's freaking adorable. And it eventually turns into a beautiful, cascading, wonderful hanging plant. So that's the plan. Hopefully gonna put this up in a window and then just let it sort of cascade down. Peperomia hope is kind of interesting because it is a hybridized cultivar, so it doesn't actually have a native habitat. This was just something that a breeder made. It is bred to be an easy growing, fantastic houseplant. So actually its natural habitat would just be in your home as a houseplant. Okay, let's talk about how to care for it. Let's start off with the light requirements. Peperomia hope seems to be a versatile plant when it comes to light. Although most of the things that you'll read will say that it prefers bright to medium indirect light, which is where I keep mine, some growers definitely keep them in pretty bright conditions. In fact, I know a few who keep them in southern facing windows or about a meter away from a south facing window, which is a lot of lights. And what I'll say about that is that I think this plant is very versatile, it just needs to acclimatize to the space that you want to put it in. I wouldn't necessarily give it a whole lot of really, really harsh midday sun because the leaves could burn. So say you are keeping this in sort of like a bright or medium indirect situation, but you are finding that the nodes were really far apart, all of your leaves, you were just getting like a lot of stem basically, and you wanted to move it to a brighter situation. Now you could do that, but the best way to do it would be to slowly move it into that situation. You don't wanna just take it in a shady spot and then all of a sudden start giving it bright sun then you're definitely gonna see some damage. But if you sort of every day bring it closer and closer and closer to the spot where you want it to be, that way it won't be shocked by the new environment. Okay, water. Now for me, this is actually where the care for this plant kind of gets really interesting because if you do research into it, if you just do a simple Google search into Peperomia Hope Care, you'll see that the top articles all say the same thing. And what they're suggesting is actually to keep the soil evenly moist, which is a little weird because as you can see, these leaves are succulent, so they hold a lot of water in this leaf. And when you see that on a plant, it's a pretty good indication that they really don't want too much water down in the soil, especially not all the time. And this plant is actually sensitive to root rot, so keeping the soil evenly moist just doesn't seem like a good idea. If you overwater this plant, you're probably going to see brown marks on the leaves. If it's gotten really bad, the leaves will just start popping off and the plant will just kind of turn into mush. When you talk to people who actually grow the plant, pretty much all of them will tell you that they let the soil completely dry out in between waterings, and some of them only water every two weeks. And for me, I think this is most definitely the route to go. That's what I do with mine. I let the soil completely dry out before I water it again, and it seems perfectly fine. No brown marks, no leaves popping off. A good trick that I did see was to choose one of the older leaves and kind of try to give it a squish, see if you can make it go kind of like a taco. And if it's soft enough to sort of be squished around like that, then you're definitely in need of some water. But if it still just feels like you're a really hard, plump leaf, then just leave it. It's not ready for water yet. Okay, soil. Now mine is just a little guy, so he's basically just in some average potting mix right now. But the best thing to do with these plants is definitely to give them sort of a light, barky, airy mixture that an aeroid would like. And that is definitely what I'm going to give him once I repot him. So something that will allow the water to drain freely and away from the roots. For fertilizer, you can give these guys a balanced fertilizer about once a month, especially during the growing season. And interestingly, their growing season is more in the cooler months, so in the fall and winter, than it will be in the summertime. So when a lot of other things have stopped growing, this guy will still be pushing out some growth for you. That's pretty much it. But let's start a conversation down in the comments. Do you keep your Peperomia Hope evenly moist or do you let it completely dry out? Do you keep it in bright indirect sun or do you give it some serious sun? I would absolutely love to know what your guys' experiences and care tips are for this plant, so don't forget to put them down below. 
And if you haven't already, make sure to join our Instagram community at Mind the Leaves. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and plant your finger on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. My name is Sam, this is Mind the Leaves, and until next time, take care of your plants and yourself.